In this video, we'll discover about overcoming negative self-talk. We cannot overemphasize the importance of your mind in your daily endeavors. Your mindset plays a crucial role in determining how far you can go in life. The state of your mind can make you do things that will limit your success in your daily activities. This chapter will examine how the voice of your mind can prevent you from moving on from your past and starting over. The Monkey Mind The mind is a powerful force that remains active even when you are sleeping. It's because your mind is still active when your body shuts down that it is responsible for your dreams and nightmares. According to Buddha, the mind can act like a monkey jumping from one branch of a tree to the other. Those branches of trees in this context refer to thoughts about different things. However, you will become restless and emotionally bankrupt when you allow your mind to function this way. It's like an autopilot mode that can make your mind dwell on your past mistakes and some unfortunate events in your life. Therefore, you must rule over your mind by being in charge of it. The following tips can help you put your monkey mind in check. Know that you can tame it. You need to take more responsibility for your mind. You can tame your monkey mind and you must never forget that. In fact, the first and most crucial step in stopping restlessness of the mind is to know and believe that you can stop yourself from wandering into negative self-talk. Don't keep quiet. There are times when you can counter destructive thoughts by switching to positive ones. It can be that simple sometimes. However, there are times that the thoughts will be so powerful that you will not be able to rule over them by just adjusting your mindset. You may have to speak up to bring tranquility to your mind again. For example, if you remember what someone said about you regarding your ability to excel, say something like, I am not a failure. You will notice yourself calming down and your anxiety level will drop with this approach. Meditation and journaling. Meditation and journaling are two crucial practices that can help you keep your mind at peace. For example, in mantra meditation, you will be chanting a mantra that serves as an anchor point. Your mind will be stationed on the mantra rather than destructive thoughts such as your failures in the past. Moreover, Moreover, journaling ensures that you'll be able to combat your thoughts because your mind is involved when you are writing. Besides, it ensures that you can trace the source of your negative emotions and counter them with logical thoughts. Your feelings can color your thinking regarding your current situation. Note that you can combine meditation and journaling. Your negative self-talk cannot survive this double impact. Self-fulfilling prophecies Self-fulfilling prophecies are words spoken about the outcome of an event such that you will act in a particular way to make them come to pass. For example, you can say that you will not be hired before you go for an interview. You will now not be motivated and inspired to do your best to ensure that you are picked. You are just looking forward to being turned down so that you can tell whoever cares to listen that you have already said it before the company will not hire you. You cannot achieve anything significant in life if you do this consistently. It will prevent you from improving yourself. It can be due to your past failures. You have to let it go and be more optimistic. Some people call their practice of self-fulfilling prophecies as being realistic. Nonetheless, this is far from the truth. It is a practice that reduces your self-esteem and will make you perform below the expected standard. You will be more concerned about proving to yourself and others that you were right about your predictions of doom and gloom about your chances. You can never banish the demons from your past and start over with this approach. Victory over this destructive culture can be achieved through the following means. Work on your ineptitudes. If you know that you actually don't have what it takes to succeed in a task, get more training. Get help from people that are more experienced than you. You will eventually fulfill your prediction if you don't actively and deliberately work on your deficiencies. Trust more. You need to convince yourself that you have what it takes to succeed in a project, especially after doing your homework. Besides, you should learn to play to your strength. So, if you know that you don't have the qualities to succeed in something, stay off until you have the skills necessary to succeed. Be around the right people. You are a product of the kind of influence you have in your life. So you cannot afford to underestimate the impact of your association on your life. One of the reasons some people are stuck in the past is that they have people who keep reminding them about their mistakes. Stay off such people and stay more around the people that will support you in the new journey. You need such people with positive energy to avoid working towards fulfilling your predicted doom. Self-sabotage behaviors. No one can stop you unless you stop yourself. Your past can only define you when you decide to allow it to affect you. Many people are stuck in the past and are never able to recover because of self-sabotage behaviors. A self-sabotage behavior is an action that prevents or limits your success despite your dreams, wishes, and values. 
These behaviors are often a product of negative emotions, negative self-talk, and low self-esteem. It can also be due to your past experiences, which affect your thinking pattern. You might produce self-sabotaging actions when you are trying to avoid things that are challenging or uncomfortable. An example of self-sabotaging behavior is working towards achieving a target only to ruin it because of a stupid mistake. It can also be in the form of feeling frustrated and discouraged when you are trying to achieve something monumental. This feeling erodes your self-confidence, and it can also affect your professional and interpersonal relationships. You can overcome self-sabotage behaviors by leveraging the tips below. Recognize the self-sabotage behaviors you have that have been affecting your progress. Identify the reason you have been acting that way. Set out time to think about your actions and how you can turn things around. Locate your positive inner voice and make it louder. Set goals and stick to the plan. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.